Babette and Colleen, what would you like to drink? I brought four wines today. There's red, white, uh, rosé, sparkling. They're all dry and flavorful. Sparkling. Okay. Oh. Always sparkling. <laughs> Always sparkling. <laughs> well, I would have to go that way too, okay. then. <laughs> I would too. I like that. Always sparkling. That's a good motto. It's yes. probably like my motto with wine. It's my favorite wine to drink, period. It is. Uh, nice. A lot of... I'm, I honestly don't drink that much red wine, which is surprising to people, like non-wine people. They think I probably just like, oh, red wine, it's the best. But really, for me, sparkling is the best. So you two have excellent taste in wine. Thanks. Nice. And cheers. <laughs> cheers. I was reading about the Pendleton house, and um, one thing I learned is that it's not a, there's not an actual, it's not a house house. Do people ask you that a lot? Every, yeah, yeah, every, every time. time. Are you ready every to time. strangle me if I didn't have wine? <laughs> Just toss yeah, the wine yeah, into yeah. your face. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> but, um, like, talk about how the, I mean, I, what I was curious about is how the how the house sort of metaphor and concept and home works in, in what you're trying to do and bringing people together. Mm-hmm. Well, the name kind of came from, uh, Pendleton is a family name of, of mine. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was kind of based around my grandmother. And she had this big kind of rambling farmhouse in Maine. Mm -hmm. And um, despite all the problems and dramas and just life, it was always a place that we always came back to. And it just felt, so when we were putting this group together, that we were trying to figure out kind of a metaphor that would um, kind of feel like this is a place where you don't have to stay here always. It's something that you can leave and come back from. And, mm-hmm. um, but there's something that ties us together. There's something that brings you back. There's a security. There's a foundation. Um, and like house and home and, and what that means and what it can provide for someone, whether it's emotional growth or artistic growth. Um, and I also liked the idea of using house versus collective or company yeah or anything like that because we're constantly evolving and I didn't want there to be any place that we felt boxed in mm-hmm. and I didn't want there to be any limitation of what could happen inside this group and who could be involved and what could come out of it mm-hmm. artistically or not even artistically just um, anything really there's a lot of collaboration it's a lot about what do people want to do mm-hmm. so a lot of kind of like the core group's job is to just kind of find more opportunities and provide opportunities for anyone in the house. Um, Like for example, Northwest New Works, right? Right. We had, Colleen and I applied Mm -hmm. because we wanted to, you know, take that opportunity and it provided a space and it provided an audience and a performance. And then from that, it was evolved into, okay, who wants to be involved in this one particular project? Or who's interested in collaborating with the, with us on this? How much of um, of the uh, Pendleton House is, I mean, like an emotional support base too? I mean, not just collaborative work. Is that is that a part of it as well? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely feels like a family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's plenty of emotion. Yes, there's plenty. Yes. Well, like there's, the whole, we're the whole, artists. The wild spectrum yes, yeah. of emotion. We're artists. Yes. We're young. Uh-huh. There's a lot of us. Uh-huh. That means there's emotion. Right. It's an explosive combination. It exactly. Is. Yeah. Yeah. I think one thing that you know, obviously within all the projects and with all the business, there's emotional support there. But I think outside of whatever the house actually does, I think the biggest thing we do is because we're a large group, we just show up to each other's things. Mm-hmm. So if someone's putting on something else or involved in another project that's separate from the house, we just show up. Yeah. And I think that like starting off, especially as a young emerging artist, it just feels good to have a crowd there. So yeah, it's just kind of about building a support system because it's so much easier. Yeah. Like you said. Yeah, absolutely. It's just easier when you have more people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. You know? It's easier when you have more people. <laughs> Simple rule. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what can we expect to see when I'm in the audience um, for your performance? Mm. Beautiful women. Okay. <laughs> I'm interested. Beautiful women. Uh-huh. <laughs> um... You can expect to see uh, a lot of different elements coming together at the same time. Elements like the periodic table of the elements? Elements? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that actually. <laughs> uh, no, but, but just um, since we have, this is like the second big collaborative production mm-hmm. that we're doing as a everybody. 
Like everybody in the house is involved. Oh wow. So there will be <clears throat> like we have visual artists involved, mm -hmm. musicians involved, dancers. Okay. We're, we're thinking a lot about lighting design, um, sound design, using structures, using uh, height. Uh, we're kind of just trying to... We're always trying to kind of push our own there. curiosities. Mm -hmm. And I think we have big ideas and then we always have to deal with the reality of those ideas. Uh -huh. Executing them. Yep. And then, and producing them. Mm -hmm. And so we go really far out and it's great because it makes us all grow. And now we're kind of like refining all of that. And I think the exciting part is that I think we're really growing. I think it's a very, this project has forced us to really kind of um, understand each other on another level, which is really exciting and creates a lot of promise for the house and mm -hmm. what it means to be in the house, mm -hmm. is that you actually can really grow as a professional artist. And I think that's a good, good accomplishment to think about, yeah. especially since we're such a new group and we're so young and um, what's to the, be able what's to really- What's the name of the piece? From the middle to the edge. From the middle to the edge.